Tonight we're going to be talking about stoichiometry, the calculation of amounts in a chemical reaction. Chemists in a lab um, need to know what their starting uh, reactants are, how much they have, and they can use that to predict exactly how much product they're going to make. They use stoichiometry to do so. So um, let's talk about some stoichiometry here. We have our very first example here, propane being burning, or propane is burned in the presence of excess oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do in stoichiometry is we need to have a balanced equation. If it's not given to us, we have to write a balanced equation. So um, the equation is not given to us, so let's go ahead and write that. So propane is C3H8. We're burning it in excess oxygen, which is diatomic, O2, and we're going to produce carbon dioxide plus water, and this is a combustion reaction with a hydrocarbon. I'm going to balance my carbons first, so I have three carbons here. Uh, hydrogens go next, so I'm going to put a four there. This gives me six oxygens there, four oxygens there, so that's ten. So this is an easy one. I'm going to put a five right there. Um, okay, so now we have a balanced equation. Now, it's real important to notice that um, we have one mole of um, propane, and it is being burned with um, five moles of oxygen to produce three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles. And so these coefficients here can be used to transfer from moles of one um, reactant to another reactant or one reactant to a product or one product back to a reactant. It doesn't matter. We can use those. So that's what we're going to start off with. So our known here is we have 10 moles of propane being burned. There's our known 10 moles of propane. And so I'm going to set this up real easily like this. 10 moles of C3H8 propane, and um, we're trying to determine how many moles of carbon dioxide are going to be produced. So we're going to put moles of CO2 at the top here. So now what we're going to use is we're going to use our, um, our equality, and the equality from this balanced equation is for every three moles of CO2, um, you burn um, one mole of C3H8. And so what we're going to do is three moles of CO2 there, and one mole of C3H8 there. And so obviously we get 30 moles of carbon dioxide being produced, and that's our answer there. Okay, so that was pretty easy, and we're going through this fast because this was a review of, of uh, regular chemistry. So let's go down here and see what else we have. It says, if 25 grams of water is produced, what mass of propane must have burned? So we're kind of going backwards on this one. Um, which is which is fine. We, it doesn't matter where we start on the balance equation, or it doesn't matter where we end on the balance equation. Um, but as long as we can identify our known, and all, as long as we can identify our unknown, and so our known here is going to be 25 grams of water, and we're looking for grams of C3H8. So we're going to use dimensional analysis to go from one place to another. So we'll start off, um, we, we want to convert to moles of water first. And so we're going to divide by the molar mass of water, 18.02, two hydrogens plus one oxygen. Okay, the next thing we want to do, to, we want to do is we want to convert from moles of water into moles of propane, C3H8. And moles of water. Now here we're going to use the mole ratio, um, the equality from the balanced equation. So I'm going to scroll back up here and, and look at my balanced gate equation. And so on my balanced equation, I have a four to one ratio of um, four waters to one propane. So we have four waters to one propane. I say actually a one to four ratio, we should say. Okay, um, and then in one mole of C3H8 propane, we just have to calculate the molar mass of propane. And the molar mass of propane is 44.11, which we're going to take that, we're gonna multiply across the top, so it's gonna be, essentially our setup and our calculator is gonna be um, 25 multiplied by 44.11, all divided by 18.02, and don't forget that four down there at the bottom. A lot of times students will forget that coefficient and that'll throw your your calculations off. So we have 44.11 multiplied by 25 divided by 18.02 times 4. And so I'm getting an answer of, um, we'll call it 15. 
really it's 15.3, but I'm going to round to two sig figs. 15.3 uh, grams of propane is needed to produce um, 25 grams of, um, of water. And so in this problem, because we were, we were not asked for two reactants, which we'll do in our next video, we can do, we can do that. Um, a couple other um, equalities that are going to hold true is remember that we can also use um, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, molecules, ions, uh, formula units. We can also use one mole is equal to um, 22.4 liters of gas only if you're at STP. Um, if you're not at STP, you have to do something else. So we can ask you to go to atoms, molecules, formula units, ions. We can ask you to go to liters as well if you're at STP or, or the most common we know is going to be molar mass. And we do spend most of our time use calculating molar mass except when we get into gas laws. Okay, so that is stoichiometry for tonight. And that's the only thing you have to do for tonight's homework is take notes on this video.